After hearing from a forensic psychiatrist in court who met with Ryan Kaneen four times at the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, the Crown and Defence agree that Kaneen should be found not criminally responsible for manslaughter. It was January 20th, 2023, when Ryan Kaneen ran up the eastbound sidewalk of Young Street, north of King, and deliberately pushed Xiao Shi Wang, an elderly woman, from behind. The 89-year-old fell to the pavement and struck her head. Her cause of death, fatal neck injuries caused by the fall. In July, Kaneen was found guilty of manslaughter. But on Tuesday, a forensic psychiatrist testified that the 39-year-old should be found not criminally responsible because he was suffering from schizoaffective disorder at the time and was unable to appreciate the wrongfulness of his actions. In his report, Dr. Maxim Chopdiani wrote, at the time of the index offense, he was homeless and untreated and profoundly psychotic. While the forensic psychiatrist found that Kaneen knew he had pushed the victim and that they had fallen and stated he continued to run due in part to his concerns that there was potentially going to be some legal repercussion, complicated by the fact he had earlier broken the window of a Subway restaurant, the psychiatrist found, given the severity of his psychotic symptoms, including his thought disorder, he would not have been able to appreciate the wrongfulness of his actions against societal norms. While Kaneen had been treated and hospitalized for mental health issues before, the doctor told court Kaneen stopped taking antipsychotic medication roughly six months before pushing the stranger. The judge has reserved her decision as to whether Kaneen is not criminally responsible for the manslaughter until December. If she agrees with the uncontested diagnosis, Kaneen will be remanded into the care of the Ontario Review Board. Catherine McDonald, Global News.